What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Witch Slap. And I know you guys have seen a lot about this attack, and the reason is, is the witches are back. The witches are strong, they got good uh, hit points, they, they're making skellies a little bit faster, um, and so now is the time to try these attacks. And these attacks can work on a variety of bases, and once you know what base they work on, then a lot of times this attack is very consistent. There's many different variations, and we're going to take a look at Yu's uh, attack here and how he utilizes uh, the army for this base. And, and I can see right away, he's got a golem. And normally when I see it, um, they got a few giants, but not a whole lot, because the tanking, you know, they don't really care about the tanking in this attack as much. But as you can see here, he's got an anchor for that one golem, and it's perfect and he's got his funnel witches out and everything's looking good but I will say this I'll stop here uh, on bases with wizard towers uh, on the sides like this and with these air defense that can target your healers but not um, the but the witches can't target them typically these are the bases that you've got to be careful for uh, with witch slap these bases can actually doom a witch slap raid but as you'll see Noah handles all that with no problem and look at those jumps they're perfect he hasn't raged yet he's just letting oh he dares his rage he's letting everything kind of get in deep before he set that rage and just look at everything he's gonna heal here in a second and there it is fortunately he didn't get much in that heal everything kind of jumped out as soon as he dropped it but look at the funnel witches as they go doing a great job unfortunately his healers jumped off on his heroes so that's going to put his witches on that side in jeopardy but they don't have much more to clean guys and this left side is getting through the wizard towers which is what i told you to watch out for they're not having much of a problem they're just slamming it out and at this point guys is it's just it's semantics at this point it's over and that's the beauty of this attack it's very simple but also very effective and we're gonna see we're gonna see some more examples here I got I think I got three or four different attacks uh, that were used between us and Sunny's and EC and we're gonna take a look at those this war good job Noah on that hit and we're gonna look at Noah's main account um, you is Noah's mini and this is Noah's main or vice versa I'm sorry I think no, you is his main and this is his mini. anyway he rolled another one, and as you can see, he's got the same army comp, same spells, same everything. And let's take a look and see how he handles this one. So he's starting away from the, the heroes, which is fine. And there again, he's got that large funnel. Now Teslas, pop-up Teslas, um, right at the beginning of this raid on the funnel sides is not um, a good thing, obviously. Here comes the heroes, and, and right now the funnel is a little sloppy. It's coming back together though. It's okay. And everything's working in, and it's looking good at this point. As long as the healers don't jump, I think Noah's going to be okay. And they don't. They don't. So look at this. Uh, Noah puts the rage down. Looking really good right now. Here comes the heal, and everything. That core is getting routed right now. And I'll tell you, I'll stop it right here. Uh, there's some wizard towers over here on the sides. But these air defense are the ones you look for. Those ones that the witches can target uh, from the outside easily. Uh, that base uh, fits the witch slap. But you also want a base that with two jumps you can get a lot of movement through the base. And Noah picked some, he picked some good bases for this. And he knows how to do this attack quite well. So as you can see now, he has lost the healers on the right, the top right of this attack. And he's just remained, uh, relying on the power of the witches to produce skeletons and for them to stay out of the target range of, of the uh, defenses. And everything's looking good. I'll speed it up because as you can see, basically these witches are going to have to work through the rest of this base and they're going to do so. Plenty of witches left. As you can see there, uh, Lou put out his cleanup troops. And look at there, it's a wrap. Look at all these witches. Boom, boom, boom. 
and they're going to go and get that last wizard tower, and it's going to be over. Oh, a Tesla. Wow. Awesome job, Noah. It's a great hit. And we got one more hit, and on 19... On 19, this one got a little ticklish, but you just watch how Noah handles it. It's Noah again, but he's on his uh, his mini account. And and also, guys, these bases might the bases that we're hitting with the switch slap uh, are anti-air bases mostly. So hey, if they don't want you to hit them with air, hit them with a witch slap. It'll usually work. But this one does get a little bit ticklish. Um, the wizard towers at the beginning of this push in the base. Uh, create a little bit of um, hardship on the kill squad going in and the, the kill squad doesn't get quite as much value I don't think uh, from their core shot but at this point everything's working in the heels right I mean he's he's got his spells on point needed to get that poison down a little bit faster ended up dropping a double poison that's all right it, it, it's okay use the king's ability and that's going to be it for the for the core there, other than the queen, and she is landlocked right now, which is one of the things I really hate about jump spells. But as you can see, the the uh, the outside funnel uh, uh, the outside funnel witches are still working. Uh, one side still has its healers, which is great, but the other side don't. So you you can look for them to kind of phase out as they're going. It, they may. They may end up getting destroyed. We'll just have to see. And what I'll do is I'll speed it up a little bit because the queen is beating on walls. But eventually, she comes back in the fray. She, he has not used her ability, and that's what he ends up uh, winning the day right there with his queen phase. And he's gonna his queen's gonna get a lot of value from that phase, holding it late. And she's going to die right there, but it's okay. He gave his witches time to finish off the base. And that's what he needed. Good job, Noah. And an excellent, excellent attack. Um, now, we've got uh, a couple more examples of this, uh, this attacking method. Um, and it's in his current war, I think. Not mistaken. Yep, here it is, number 22. Number 22. We've got a little bit different base here, guys. This is a different looking base. Kind of old meta with a new meta twist. And as you can see here, Noah's, Noah's got an interesting way he's handling this base. Um, it's not a huge spread this time, but kind of a small spread. So it, it's, it's different from his, his norm and unfortunately his healers are going to bite the dust early but it's all right his other side's still going and he's going to get in there to those ad's here probably with his core shot and hopefully his witches up top can stand the heat a little while and here we go everything's working in Got that next jump to get him through the rest of the base right there. Uh huh. Wow. He's got really deep for his core shot here, guys. Look at the queen. She does not know what she's doing, but whatever. So now, um, with that, you know, that's an excellent core shot, guys. He is, he's basically just cored out the middle of this base. Um, he doesn't have much left on his bottom funnel with that witch, but it's just enough to keep pecking away at these buildings, and now she's going to die. He's got a ton of little uh, skellies right here with these guys. Uh, look at him just beating away. Look at him. And they're still working. Gonna scroll back out and you see the witch is still doing her work up top now this is showing you like it this attack reminds me a little bit of HGHB because even when you think it's gonna fail it still pulls a three and that's the craziness of it so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit because it does take a little long for these to get through we'll, 
we'll watch. But the queen phase, holding the queen phase, uh, being very patient with her is going to pay off big in the end. And that's what got, got Noah this three star. Uh, and that's a wrap, guys. Hope you guys enjoy watching these witch slap attacks. Um, they're very versatile, guys. Just, um, I would advise you uh, in this current meta in the game to take time, try a few of them in friendly challenges, uh, to use different comps. I mean, I use mine with giants. Noah uses his with a golem. But, you know, try to keep the rest of it the same, you know. Uh, and just attempt to, to three-star with them. See what you can do with them, because these things are fun. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching these hits. And I am out of here.